Jay, as far as we are aware, yes, it is. There are various reports of ongoing artillery strikes and firefights taking place inside of that city itself. This, of course, very concerning. What we saw earlier in the morning while we were still there was a large plume of dark smoke rising over Benghazi. We heard artillery being fired. We saw a few rounds falling. We also saw an aircraft overhead, and then we saw another aircraft, not sure if it's the same one or not, come tumbling out of the sky in a plume of smoke. We later on heard from an opposition fighter that that was, in fact, one of their own jets, one of a small handful of aircraft that they've managed to get their hands on, repair, and put into the sky, because this is really all that they have to defend themselves against Gaddafi's military machine. This is exactly what the opposition was warning the international community about, that Gaddafi would continue to push the boundaries. They feel as if Gaddafi is challenging the international community, mocking them, daring them to actually take action against him. People were very worried, realizing that there was going to be a delay in the implementation of this resolution, a resolution that calls for an immediate ceasefire, that calls for a no-fly zone, and that most importantly calls for the use of all necessary means to protect civilians. And it is civilians that continue to be under attack here, Tinje. And those civilians you mentioned, have they been fleeing the city of Benghazi in large numbers? Well, I wouldn't say it was necessarily a massive exodus, TJ, to be quite honest. There was a steady flow of vehicles leaving Benghazi. We spoke to a number of the civilians, and most of them were from the southern part of the city, and that is where Gaddafi's forces began their assault. We spoke to one woman who said that she woke up to her entire building being sprayed with small arms fire. We spoke to a little girl who said that she evacuated with her family in the middle of the night after intense bombings. This is a population that we've been talking to that is very afraid. They have all along said that they're willing to die for this, but then they had such hope. They were so re-energized by the fact that the U.N. resolution had passed, and they began to truly believe that the struggle, they say, for freedom and democracy was at least, if not going to come to an end, at least they were going to be given the upper hand or a level playing field. People now really asking the question, wanting to know exactly what it is that the international community is waiting for. What they want to see right now over the skies of Libya is foreign fighter jets bombing Gaddafi's positions.